Hi guys, welcome to the channel. HDR is one of my favorite ways to produce eye-popping images. For good quality, I would always recommend Pro Software for the best results. Unfortunately, Pro Software costs around 99 USD for the mainstream names, so it was always good to find a cheaper alternative. I was happy to stumble upon Easy HDR during a web search, which as of this writing costs around 33 USD. It supports both Windows and Mac. Based on its low price and unassuming website, I didn't have high expectations when I downloaded the trial. But after actually using it, I have good things to say about the product. So here are 5 features which make this product stand out. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can help me make more videos. So let's get right into it. Number 1. High Quality Bracket Merging Good HDR software should have the ability to merge different exposures a process called tone mapping in a way that generates images that look natural and spectacular. You also want results with minimal artifacts, like halos. I'm happy to know that images produced by Easy HDR are actually very good. To demonstrate this, let's use some iPhone 10 shots. Yes, even with an old iPhone, HDR can make your shots look great. By the way, if you're getting started in HDR and don't know how to get bracketed photos with your iPhone, do watch my video on this topic. I'll leave a link in the description. To begin merging, simply drag the brackets to Easy HDR and press OK to any of the screens that follow. As you can see, the merging is done, but if you want a different look, you can try out any of the presets. And Easy HDR comes with a lot of them to give you maximum creative choice. So as you can see, the results look pretty good. And let's try another image. So number two is comprehensive editing features. Easy HDR goes a step further than its competitors by providing a comprehensive editing toolset. For example, it provides a clone stamp tool to help remove unwanted objects, a tone curve to adjust the brightness of shadows and highlights. It also allows you to selectively adjust individual color saturation, which is really useful as some HDR could go overboard with saturation. You can also adjust local contrast, similar to a clarity slider in Lightroom. This is helpful to make the image really pop. Simply put, Easy HDR can make your photo look the way you want it to look. Number three is manual ghost removal. One of the disadvantages of HDR is the possibility of ghosts. No, it's not that scary kind. We're talking about the ghosting artifacts that appear from misaligned photos caused by things like moving cars or leaves or branches moving in the wind. Easy HDR is really powerful in that it has both automatic and manual ghost removal. So let's demonstrate the automatic removal of ghosts. First, let's merge a bracket without ghost removal. So you can see the result has this ghostly effect of people, uh, which usually will not look great. So you want to get rid of that. So we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to turn on ghost removal. So here is the result with ghost removal. As you can see, it works pretty effectively. Number four is batch processing. While Easy HDR is pretty simple to use, if you take a lot of brackets as I do, you'll find it extremely tedious and painful to import and merge each bracket individually. Pro HDR software typically comes with a feature called batch processing, which allows you to merge a whole folder of brackets automatically. Well, Easy HDR comes with this feature as well. Number five is LDR enhancement. While HDR works best with bracketed photos, if bracketed photos are not your thing, you'll be glad to note that Easy HDR works with the single images as well. This feature is called LDR or Low Dynamic Range Enhancement. In this mode, instead of having three separate bracketed exposures, 
the exposures are generated from a single JPEG or for better results a raw file. So to demonstrate this, let's open a single raw shot and let Easy HDR do its magic. So there you have it, that's 5 features which make Easy HDR stand out. I do believe its plain looking website is extremely misleading. If you are into HDR, this is one of the most underrated products in the marketplace. If you want to try it out for free, you can by downloading the trial. And if you do try it out, do let me know in the comments what you think of the product. Also, if you have any questions on HDR or photography related topics, do let me know in the comments as well. And please, before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Till the next time, bye!